Welcome back. We are still on the topic construction. In the previous video, we learned how to construct the locus of points equidistant from two intersecting lines. In this video, we are going to learn how to construct the locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines. Locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines. Let's consider the triangle here. This triangle is formed by the intersection of the line AB, the line AC, and the line BC. We are going to learn how to find the locus of points equidistant from the line AB, the line AC, and the line BC. The locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines is the point of intersection of the bisectors of the angles formed between the lines. So here, the locus of points equidistant from the line AB, the line AC, and the line BC will be the point of intersection of the bisectors of the angles formed between the three lines. As we can see from this triangle, the line AB and the line AC meet to form the angle at point A. The line AB and the line BC meet to form the angle at point B. And the line AC and the line BC meet to form the angle at point C. We have learned from here that the locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines is the point of intersection of the bisectors of the angles formed between the lines. What this means is that to get the locus of points equidistant from the line AB, the line AC, and the line BC, we will have to bisect the angle formed at point A. We will bisect the angle formed at point B, and we will bisect the angle formed at point C. Those three bisectors will meet at a point. Their point of intersection will give us the locus of points equidistant from the three lines. So to get the locus, we will bisect the angle formed at point A. I'm going to represent the bisector with these straw dashes. Then we will bisect the angle formed at point B, which I've represented with these straw dashes. And finally, we will bisect the angle formed at point C, which I've represented with these straw dashes. These three bisectors will meet at this point. I'm going to call this point point P. Point P, which is the point of intersection of the three bisectors, will give us the locus of points equidistant from the line AB, the line AC, and the line BC. Now let's assume that we draw a perpendicular line from point P to the line BC. Then we draw another perpendicular line from point P to the line AC. And finally, we draw another perpendicular line from point P to the line AB. Let's call this point here point X. Let's call this point point Y. And this point point Z. Because point P, which is the point of intersection of the three bisectors of the angles formed between the lines, gives us the locus of points equidistant from the three lines, the perpendicular line drawn from point P to all the three lines will have the same length. So what this means is that the length of the line PY will be equal to the length of the line PX and it will also be equal to the length of the line PZ. Another thing that you have to also note here is that because the perpendicular distance from point P to all the three sides of the triangle are the same, with point P as the center, we can draw a circle to touch all the three sides of the triangle. Now, let's apply what we have learned here to solve a question. The question is, A. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, construct I. Triangle PQR such that PQ is equal to 11 centimeters, PR is equal to 10 centimeters, and QR is equal to 9 centimeters. II 
construct x the locus of points equidistant from pql pr and qr b with x as center construct a circle which touches all the three sides of the triangle in the previous videos we have learned how to use a ruler and a pair of compasses only to construct triangles and so i'm not going to go through the process of constructing the triangle pqr in this video i'll move straight to the remaining parts of the question but before i do that i'm going to pause for some few seconds so that you can pause the video and construct the triangle now let's begin with the solution the first part of the question says that we should construct triangle pqr such that pq is equal to 11 centimeters pr is equal to 10 centimeters and qr is equal to 9 centimeters that is what we have here we have the triangle pqr pq is 11 centimeters pr is 10 centimeters and qr is 9 centimeters let's move on to the next part of the question it says that we should construct x the locus of points equidistant from pq pr and qr here the line pq pr and qr intersect to form the triangle pqr we have seen that the locus of points equidistant from PQ, PR, and QR will be the point of intersection of the bisectors of the angles formed at point P, point Q, and point R. So to get X, which is the locus of points equidistant from PQ, PR, and QR, we are going to bisect the angle formed at point P. Then we will bisect the angle formed at point Q and we will bisect the angle formed at point R. Those three bisectors will intersect at a point. Their point of intersection will give us X. So let's start by bisecting the angle formed at point R. We have learned how to bisect angles in the previous videos, so I'll go over it quickly in this video. To bisect the angle formed at point R, you pick the compass and you put the needle on point R then you adjust it a little bit and you turn it and you construct an arc to intersect the line qr and the line pr then after that you move the needle of the compass to this point you adjust the compass a little bit you turn it and you construct an arc with the same radius you move the needle of the compass to this point, then you turn it and you construct another arc to intersect the first arc that you constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean this part also. We can see from here that our two arcs intersect at this point. To get the bisector of the angle formed at point R, we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point R. This straight line bisects the angle formed at point R. We are now done with bisecting the angle formed at point R. Let's move on and bisect the angle formed at point P. To bisect the angle formed at point P, we will put the needle of the compass on point P. Then you adjust the compass a little bit. You turn it and you construct an arc to intersect the line PQ and the line PR. After that, you move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the line PR and the arc. Then you turn it and you construct an arc here. With the same radius, you move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the line PR and the arc. Then you turn the compass and construct an arc to intersect the first one that you constructed. To get the bisector of the angle formed at point P, 
we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point P. This straight line bisects the angle formed at point P. We have now bisected the angle formed at point P and the angle formed at point R. Let's move on and bisect the angle formed at point Q. To bisect the angle formed at point Q, you first put the needle of the compass on point Q. Then you adjust it a little bit, then you turn it and you construct an arc to intersect the line QR and the line PQ. After that, you move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line QR. Then you adjust the compass a little bit, you turn it and you construct an arc. After that, with the same radius, you move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line PQ. Then you turn the compass and construct an arc to intersect the first one that you constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean this part also. To get the bisector of the angle formed at point Q, we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point Q. This straight line bisects the angle formed at point Q. We can see that the three bisectors intersect at this point. Their point of intersection will give us X, which is the locus of points equidistant from the line PQ, the line PR, and the line QR. So we have X here. Now let's move on to the last part of the question. It says that with X as center, construct a circle which touches all the three sides of the triangle. To do this, we will move the needle of the compass to X. After that, you adjust the part of the compass holding the pencil to touch any of the three sides. So you can adjust it to touch the side PQ, or the side PR or the side QR. I'm going to adjust it to touch the side PQ. So you adjust the side that it touches the side PQ, just as I've done here. After doing that, you turn the compass and you construct a circle. You will see that this circle will touch all the three sides of the triangle. So we have the circle touching the side PQ, the side PR, and the side KOR. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In this video, we learned how to construct the locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines. In the next video, we are going to apply everything we've learned about construction so far to solve a likely examination question. Bye bye.